it was hard for us at times to, to stop them in the second half, but the thing we did a really good job of was take them off the three-point line. You know, when you're the road team, you, you need threes for momentum and runs, and so their runs came two at a time. And, and that makes them a little easier to withstand. And then I thought we executed really well offensively. We only had five turnovers for the whole game. And, and they, try to, they do put some pressure on you. And, and they've got a good basketball team. So I thought, that, I thought we played well. The game plan this week is just to be ourselves, uh, to come out with energy, um, crash the glass, uh, play help side defense, and just, just remain who we are. It feels good. I just wanted to um, come out, be aggressive. Defensively, you know, number three is a pretty good player, so just wanted to put some pressure on him. And, uh, you know, just attack the glass on the offensive board, so that was, that was key. Figuring out how to play the end of the first half uh, took a minute just to decide how we wanted to go about it, and we decided how we wanted to go about it, and then I thought we did a good job with it. The crowd, you know, they gave us energy, so that, that was huge, and, you know, uh, they kept us going throughout the whole game. It was good to see everyone come out uh, like that for the first game. And um, like John said, it really pushed us in certain parts throughout the game to, you know, to get that stop or to get that loose ball. And, um, you know, we hope to have another outcome like that tomorrow. I thought we uh, prepared correctly and our guys certainly absorbed the uh, shoot around and the practice sessions all week long, preparing for a very, very good Western Oregon basketball team. Uh, that showed by getting off to a 5-0 start and playing good lumberjack basketball uh, the way we like it. And that's uh, shoot and transition and, and uh, take open shots and share the ball. And we did that early on. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win tonight, but, but that's not, you know, it, it's hard to beat the number one team in the West region. It's simple as that. Uh, we started off with a small goal, which um, was to get a CCA tournament championship. You know, we did that, and then we turned we turned that into a we tried to turn it into a bigger goal by winning the West region tournament. You know, but unfortunately, the cards didn't play that way. I try to block everything out and just prepare for the game. Um, I, I know I I saw a lot of my family there, but I mean, I just uh, all I wanted to do was to win tonight because. Uh, I like spending time with the guys, and um, I didn't want to attend. So, I mean, the most important thing for me was uh, just having it be a West Region game. You know, we just played uh, one of the best teams, not only in the West Region, but the United States. And they've proven that with their ability to take care of the basketball and not uh, have any turnovers on their side, even though we, our game plan was to go out and pressure Western Oregon, uh, good ball pressure good denial pressure, try to stop the reversals and uh, get into them a little bit with our athleticism. And uh, they did a great job handling that. And uh, that's why they won the, one of the reasons they won the game. We have a lot of young guys and uh, we needed that uh, leadership role to uh, instill in us for next year. And uh, I, I think down the stretch, they did a great job. I mean, uh, we had a lot of tough times, we had a lot of conflicts, but down the stretch, they really uh, buckled down and uh, led us to victory. And this environment here at Western Oregon was special. Uh, that was a tough environment to play in. And I know the GNAC has other venues just like that. And, and uh, you know, that hats off to them.